Moving up to Formula 3 this year was obviously quite an exciting year for myself and the Racing Stats Foundation. We did Formula Renault last year and uh, to move up from that into a, such a prestigious class um, such as FIA Formula 3 is uh, an exciting year for myself and hopefully uh, a good year for myself as well. Moving up to Carlin this year is obviously, uh, I'm very proud. Um, such a well-known team as in, uh, in, in F3 of what they've won in the British F3 and what they achieved in uh, FIA last year. Um, I know I've got a strong team behind me, I've got the right people behind me this year and uh, I'm very much looking forward to how the season starts at Silverstone in April and uh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be an exciting year and I can't wait to get started. With, with uh, the Racing Stats Foundation, using Carlin for the past uh, four or five years now, there's Jack, James uh, and Oliver. Uh, they've also got a great relationship with Trevor and, and, and the team themselves and uh, it would only be right for me as uh, a Navarro driver to move up to uh, uh, Carlin. Obviously they have a great relationship together and uh, I'm very proud to obviously keep that relationship going in the, in the RSF uh, programme. So yeah, today was my first day down at Carlin. Um, came down with Derek, and uh, yeah, it was great. Um, sort of a, a good time to come down and see everyone. It's, uh, it's getting relatively close to the season now, and uh, it's nice really to meet everyone here. Uh, not only the people who just build my cars, the engineers, uh, the PR people. So obviously, uh, to make friends with them and know everyone is obviously quite important for the rest of the season. Uh, but today, yeah, we just started off with getting to know my engineer of what we'll be doing throughout the rest of the year and uh, strengths and weaknesses of myself so we can uh, see, where, see where we're good and see where we can improve. And then, yeah, so we went and moved on to then a simulator session. Uh, first time, obviously, on the car and simulator. It's, um, it's pretty tough to drive. It took me a bit of time to get used to. But I'm sure by, uh, by the time it comes to Silverstone, I'll be pretty used to it and on the pace for sure. But, yeah, so, yeah, now... Just uh, chilling out, looking at the view behind me. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Being a rookie, obviously, the obviously the first aim is to obviously become top rookie for sure. And then every driver goes into each championship wanting to win, uh, win, win the championship in their first year. Obviously, that's my aim. But with people doing it three or four years of experience now, I know it's going to be difficult, but for sure uh, I've set myself a hard task. But I believe it's achievable with the team I've got behind me and the people I've got behind me. But uh, yeah, so it's just a waiting game really till the first round at, at Silverstone, and then uh, the last round in October, I'll, uh, I'll be able to answer that question properly.